Alright people, welcome back. More card review. Still sick, but I'm going to try to power through it. I really want to get you guys your content. I feel really bad and, you know, uh, combined with being really sick, I've been really busy. There's going to be a big change in my house and uh, you will find out soon, but I'm going to try to power through it, people. So, uh, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for the support. Like I said, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to keep the structure and I hate when I get sick, especially when it's not my fault. But, you know, when I get sick, I get sick and... Uh, it's just like this is pretty much my job. This is my job, and you know I can't be like, oh, I'm going to take on a sick week. Like, no, 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 no. You know, you better put that uh, mask on, and make sure you don't get anybody else sick, and power through because that's what you got to do, right? So today we are going to be looking at another Goyo card. Yes, people, another Goyo card. There's so many. An interesting thing is, I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five anime, and I shit you not, this card was like shown, like the art and the card was shown. Of course, it was like had. Uh, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! art on the anime, so you really couldn't see what it did. But, you know, straight up, saw this card at the end, and they were like, hey, spoiler alert, this card's going to be in the next episode, and it's supposed to be super good and powerful. And now, all of a sudden, we actually got the effect and shit before I've even seen the episode. So, I don't even know what the, you know, what the card does in the anime. Usually, it's like, oh, see the card in the anime, and then, you know, eventually it comes as the real card. Like, no, it's the reverse this time. Anyway, this is yet another Goyo card. This is Goyo Emperor, people. So we got the Goyo Guardian. We got the Goyo Predator. We got the Goyo Defender. We got the Goyo... Uh, was it Goyo... Well, in the anime, we have a card called Goyo King and now Goyo Emperor. You know, what's next? Goyo God? Goyo God, anybody? Goyo God 2016? Okay, I'll stop. But seriously, it, they just keep on getting more and more powerful. So this is Goyo Emperor. As you can clearly see, it is not a synchro monster, but yet a fusion. So, Goyo Emperor is that Earth Warrior Fusion Effect Monster on level 10. Yes, people, level 10. That is pretty high. With 3,300 attack and 2,500 defense. So, uh, those stats are nothing to scoff at. How do you make it? Two Earth Warrior type Synchro Monsters. Yeah, this is, you know, the Goyo archetype has been very specific when it comes to, you know, the Earth Warrior uh, Synchro type monsters. It has to be Earth Warrior Synchro type. So, I'm assuming that they want to maybe use a little bit of Goyo Predator, maybe a Goyo Guardian, but it has to be two. But let's go ahead and determine whether this is worth the trouble. So, the spec reads, When this card, or a monster you control that is owned by your opponent, destroys a mon an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field. Okay. So, essentially, you summon this card, and you attack from highest to weakest, and you can take all your opponent's monsters. I mean, if they have a field of five, then you have to, leave, of course, leave one, because, you know, this is taking his own, and then the other four are taking his own. But, you know, let's say that your opponent has uh, a field of uh, four in descending order. You can just go, all right, Goyo Emperor, attack, destroy your monster, it goes to the graveyard, effect, I'm going to go ahead and revive it. And it doesn't even say in defense mode, like, you know, Goyo, Goyo Guardian. It can be in attack mode, so you summon that monster in attack mode. It's, you know, the highest monster... Oh, uh, it was the highest monster out of all your opponent's monsters. So, of course, it says when this card or an opponent's monster you control that is owned by your opponent. That is it's really uh, hard to grasp. It's really confusing wording. But essentially, it means that you control it, but your opponent owns it. So, when your opponent owns the card, it's going to go to their graveyard when it dies. It's their card. You know, it's their ownership, but it's in your possession. So, a monster you control that is owned by your opponent. So, any monster that you take with the effect of, you know, one of the Goyos, whether it be Goyo Guardian, Goyo Predator, Goyo Emperor, any of them. A monster that your opponent owns that you control, you it will also get the snatch effect. So, literally, just in descending order, Goyo Emperor, attack the strongest monster. All right, that goes to a great effect. Give me your strong, that monster. All right, so in attack mode, now this monster, kill another monster, effect, give me that monster, attack, give me that monster, attack, give me that monster. So pretty much, uh, Depending on how strong every single monster in your opponent's side of is, you can easily, uh, if you keep attacking and get your attacks due and all the monsters go to the graveyard, you can take their entire field. You can take their entire field with this card because the monsters that you control that are owned by your opponent will also be able to go ahead and turn into uh, Goyo Guardians, mini Goyos, and snatch other cards up. So it's not a bad effect. It's not a bad effect. Of course, you know, it's not the best effect because, you know, uh, the whole... Destroy an opponent's monster by battle, send it to the graveyard, and revive it. It's not the best thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I mean, you know, Goyo Guardian was banned at one point, and now it's at three. So, you know, there's clearly a change in things. But, uh, you can go ahead and pull this off with two Goyo Guardians or a Goyo, you know, Predator or something along those lines. Or more Goyo cards if we get them. 
then it's not bad. It's not bad. I can definitely see how this is the boss monster. So, it has more effects now. So, uh, when your opponent with special summon a monster, monsters, uh, just so inherent summons, you contribute one Earth Warrior type synchro monster and take control of that monster, monsters. So, pretty much when your opponent would inherit summon, you can go ahead and tribute a warrior type synchro monster to take control of them permanently. Permanently. So, the thing with this is, is that pretty much your opponent can see it coming from a mile away and uh, it might not be wise to go ahead and do an inherent summon when your opponent controls a warrior type synchro monster, earth warrior type synchro monster. That would be pretty bad because they're just going to go ahead and, and take it. Any inherent summon. So, uh, the thing is, is that you just used uh, two Earth Warrior type Synchro Monsters to summon this, so uh, to have a third one may not be likely, but hey, you know, you could just be like, alright, well, during your draw phase, I'm going to activate Call the Haunted and summon back Goya Guardian. There you go. So, if your opponent even thinks about doing an Inherit Summon, I mean, and sometimes, like I said, your opponent can see it coming because it's right there on the field. There's no surprise factor. It's not like, oh, you did an Inherit Summon? Black Corner Heaven. Bet you didn't see that coming. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You know, your opponent can see it coming. But to say that that effect is bad is really not justified because there's also a card that stops Inherit Summons that you can see coming from all the way, and that's Thunder King Raya. You can clearly see Thunder King Raya. You know that they can go ahead and attribute it to go ahead and stop an Inherit Summon. But, you know you're pretty much going to have to get rid of that Thunder King where it's going to get you. And this is probably like in the same boat. You know, unless you have some spells or traps to handle a situation, I mean, this monster is 3300. You're going to have to do an Inherit Summon to get rid of it. And just the fact that it can protect itself from, you know, Inherit Summons just by being like, all right, tribute and gimme. Like, not even, like, negate the summon and destroy like Thunder King. Like, no, gimme permanently. Uh, that's pretty powerful. And, you know, there's a very... Uh, Varying amount of inherent summons, you know. Uh, sometimes it's good to go ahead and stop inherent summon. Inser inherent summons. Sometimes it's bad, you know. It, it depends. You know, if you're going up against necros, no, those are inherent. You know, if you summon this and your opponent goes Shadal Fusion and summons like a construct from the deck, nah, that's not going to work either. So your Goyo uh, Emperor is going to get killed by that construct. But for example, if you're going up against you know Teller Knights, you know one of the ways that they uh, get rid of. Well, I guess not really going to work because Triff's like still going to go off. Um, that's not a good example. Hmm, that's a good example. It's Cleese, they, when they pen to summon, that's inherent summon, so you can go ahead, and if you have an Earth Warrior type Synchro Monster, your opponent goes, alright, I'm gonna pen to summon, like, four Cleese, you can be like, alright, Emperor Effect, Tribute, give me all them Klee monsters. Yeah, yeah, it's not powerful. You know, Banish Dark and Light, summon BLS? Nah, give me that BLS. Summon JD? Nah, give me that JD. You know, so, any inherent summon, very powerful, but, uh, when your opponent would synchro summon, you know, if they want to go ahead and be like, alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and go into a hot red dragon and use my effect to destroy you, like, nah, go ahead, give me that hot red. You know, XC into Castell, nah, give me that Castell. So, uh, stop, you know, go ahead and snatch up Inherit Summon, it's not bad, not bad. And last effect. If this face of a card leaves the field, get control of all monsters you can control to their original owner so that's a little bit different and uh probably one of this card's weakest points so of course you summon goyo guardian you tackle your opponent's monster you take that monster in defense mode but if you have to kill the goyo guardian you don't return it to him this on the other hand you do when this card leaves the field give back all control all the monsters which can easily turn around the duel you know you summon goyo Emperor, you attack all my monsters, take all my monsters. But next turn, I go ahead and summon, you know, uh, Castell. You don't have an Earth Warrior Synchro type monster to take control of me. Castell, spin that uh, Emperor back to the extra deck. Emperor, it will go off in the extra deck to be like, hey, give back control of all their monsters back to the original. I'm going to get all my monsters, and depending on what you took, I'm probably going to go ahead and OTK you. So. Uh, you know, this is a big risk versus reward. Yeah, you can go ahead and snatch up all your opponent's monsters if you can get their, their your attacks off and they're sent to the graveyard. Yeah, if you have a uh, Earth Warrior type synchro monster, you can go ahead and stop that inherent summon and take control of that monster. But as soon as this card leaves the field, you know, as soon as the Emperor leaves the castle, you gotta give it all back. So, yeah. So, I'd say if there's gonna be like a Goyo type deck, like if it's gonna be its own archetype, because right now, really, we only got Goyo Guardian, and I think OCG has Goyo Predator, and they're going to get Goyo Emperor, but they need more, you know. I think there's a card called, like, Goyo Defender that was also in the show, and Goyo King. 
So if I can get more, and then if I can get more Goyo cards, then maybe. But uh, it's just Goyos. They seem like a very synchro based deck. Everybody is a synchro. Everybody's a warrior type, earth warrior type synchro monster. So you're playing tuners. You're playing your non tuners. To summon this, you gotta play some kind of poly, you know? You gotta splash in a poly in a deck that synchros. It just, it seems really offhanded, you know? And I get that, you know, some decks wanna try to do everything, but when you try to do too much, that's when you start to fall apart because, you know, you're spreading all your abilities too thin. So, you know, last thing you need to do is when you're trying to pull off your synchro monsters, you draw into polys. And, you know, how many polys are you going to run for this card? Are you going to run this card? So, that's the question that you're going to have to figure out when you make your Goyo die. Is this card worth the effort? And how? You, and what's the ratio? How are you going to pull it off? You know, because you would think, like, on paper, a deck that could do everything is going to be so good. You know, we got, like, DDDs and, you know, I guess they're doing a little bit in OCG. But I guess like, but that's really just an anti uh, to, uh, pen, uh, Performer Pals, but, uh, look at Zephra, look at Zephra, it's a deck that, you know, it's a combination of all the strongest, uh, archetypes of the, of the last couple of, uh, sets, it can, it can fuse, it can ritual summon, it can synchro summon, it can Ixie summon, and where did that card, where did that deck go? Mm-mm, you know, I've only seen one good Zephra deck, and even that deck didn't do everything, it didn't run every card, so, like I said, when you try to push your deck too much, you spread your abilities too thin, you know, so when you're trying to run your Earth Warrior type Synchro Goyo deck, you gotta throw in some polys to go ahead and fuse into the Emperor, you know, and it's not like you can even be like, alright, let me go ahead and play the poly and then fuse two Goyos from my hand or something, like, no, they have to be Earth Warrior type Synchro monsters on the field, you know, and unless they give, uh, the Earth Warrior type Synchro Goyo, like, some kind of Goyo Miracle Fusion, so you can banish two Goyos from your graveyard to summon this, I just don't see how you're going to pull it off without, you know, two warrior type synchro monsters, Earth, on the field. It's not worth the effort. So tell me what you guys think about Goyo Emperor in the comment section below. So, like I said, still sync, so bear with me. If this uh, video wasn't as good quality as usual, I apologize, but I'm still going to try to keep it 100. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will try to get you all your videos. I really am. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.